What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League and I am going to be doing the Archer class guide tutorial and all that good stuff after the super update or the super large scale update, whatever it's called. So um, a lot of people have been asking me for class tutorials and I'll start off with the Archer because I know a lot about the Archer uh, and I will also do all the other classes uh, day by day uh, as people ask me what they want or tell me what they want ask me what they want tell me what they want um, so I am going to go ahead and start with uh, what's the most important on this uh, character or on every character is your actual skill allocation okay uh, and what kind of skills you're kinda of gonna bring to GBG now for the archer class I don't recommend going full on uh, all the new skills I also don't recommend fully uh, putting all the skills into this tree. As you can see, I have 2,500 persistency, so I could actually get this skill, but I am actually choosing not to. Now, before I go into the skills, I want to tell you about why I'm not cho uh, fully doing this tree. Um, the reason is because I actually got all the skills I 100% need before I go and get uh, the other skills in the other class uh, traits and the other, I mean, the other. Um, not the class traits but the shared traits so this right here is a really good skill and I am going to get it after I get the shared trait for the Lancer but it, it actually kills only Lancers it gives you increased ability power against Lancers so that's the reason I'm not getting it before I get the uh, Lancer skill because this is co this one's costing 2000 and the other one that's the Lancer shared trait 5% is costing 2500 which I already have and I'll show you what the difference is between the damages after this so um, the reason I stopped here is because I actually got the magic attack from bow and gun gear 3% which is very much needed and the a uh, attack and bow gun from for 3% and also this is very very important increases your starting cost by 5 now what does this mean that means that you when you get into GVG your uh, cost will instead of being starting at 5 it'll be at 10 so it increases it by 5 5 plus 5 is 10 that's what you're gonna start at is 10 instead of 5 you're gonna get the attack off faster than an, another uh, archer unless he has uh, ether exchange and you don't so the skills that I would use as an archer still will be hunt which is the beginning skill here uh, and then you'll have a uh, high circle snipe still very good and high ability power and the lethal strikes which is also very uh, high ability power uh, and it's it's very good uh, the reason I'm getting these three is because actually you're getting a lot of um, you're getting a lot of boosts from actual um, archer skills here so increases the chance of a high a circle snipe and high circle snipe um, by 20% when the bow, bow is equipped in your main slot so like things like this are very important um, you you just need to have that uh, hit chance and, and um, it's just gonna give you that extra damage um, that something else wouldn't as well as having um, the bows and the the uh, skills that attach to those bows are ready for these skills because I'm sure you guys already have a couple of dead eyes or a couple of fatals that you can use uh, whereas you probably don't have a lot of imaginary shotguns or bows or any of these Burke snipe bows or anything like that so so you uh, definitely want to keep keep those skills um, so those three skills are very uh, indispensable which is the hunt the high circle snipe and lethal strikes now you guys must be asking what's the fourth skill that you would use now if you're a frontline archer and I'll talk about exactly what that means in terms of gear score uh, gear allotment and gear costs later and uh, you know the armors and stuff but being a front line basically means that you're going to be the first person in and and you're going to be probably either killed or switched out or you're going to stay in there okay um so being a front line you probably want to take either cheer ether exchange um i think or guard um so depending on how much uh what your guild strategy is if like you're a cheer guild that's going to be uh, relying on unison you want to go definitely with cheer if you're going to be like a lasting like high high uh, defense guild, you want to go with guard. And if you want to be like a burst team that kills the kills the team off uh, first, and you have like um, a healer that has ether exchange, you want to go ether exchange. Okay. So those are like skills that you want to use as as the archer. Those three uh, are interchangeable: cheer, cheer the guard and uh, ether exchange now if you're going to uh, kill the crystal like I am 
I would actually suggest going um, imaginary shot as long as you have one um, Fatal Testament bow because it's proccing at least it procs off Fatal Testament, right? Um, the reason being if you're a switch in like full-on uh, crystal DPS You're usually just attacking the crystal. You're not going to be in there for the unison um, And if you have like a hundred cost and you're on a crystal phase There's no way you're going to be able to bust out that full 100 cost with just two attack skills Which is hunt uh, the high circle snipe and lethal strikes, right? So it's basically just the two the um high circle snipe and lethal strikes right so that's why i implemented uh putting in actually imaginary shot just because it'll give you that extra one um like one skill that will put put down dps on the crystal as well as uh, it can proc off your fatal testament which i actually have one of those bows i'm sure you guys saw my my fatal testament bow pull before so that's pretty much it for this uh for the uh skills and what what you should use for gvg now let me go ahead and show you guys what i would actually put in like i'm, I'm putting in to lancer instead of that lancer killing skill that i was talking about earlier this is actually what i'm putting in in instead uh which is the five percent attack because the other skill that in the marksman tree is actually only going to be able to kill lancers but say if you're going against a team that doesn't have a lot of lancers or you're just trying to focus down archers first or whatever um it's very important to have this skill as well as um it's going to increase your your monster uh your monster damage right so that's why I'm going into this first. Uh, I would probably get this skill with the 2500, then go back into the archer, like so, and then I'd get the uh, skill here, and then I would completely just stop using the um, using the rest of the archer until I finished the, my lancer and mage. So this is the next skill I would get after the lancer skill, and then I would go back into lancer. And then I'd finish this off. So uh, you have to finish this off before you can get to the next tree, correct? So that would be one. The archer thing would be two. Then I'd probably get this right here. And then I'd probably go either one side. You'd have to go one side, right? You don't want to get all of these skills, right? You would want to go one side and just get straight to here. So depending on what you want, if you want to even look at the Lancer, uh, you can go this side and get this. Or you can go this side and and same thing get that way but you don't want to get full lancer uh this whole thing because you, unless you want to go lancer later or something but i wouldn't suggest it i would say go this side if you're going pure archer boom got it or this side got it and then go to back to mage so once you uh have finished with the lancer you want to if you didn't get all of these mages yet you want to get all that just because you're going to get all of these uh, magic attack skills and uh, again archer increase increases magic attack um, and this as well so you would either go left or right and then you go you go straight into here probably go right though because I was looking at this and this is the media range so you definitely want to get that um, so go all the way over here and then get get this uh, magic attack boost so the reason I'm getting that those magic attack shared traits if you guys don't know is because all these all these shared traits are going back into your monsters and your gear and Let's look real quick about uh, how actually it affects your gear. So let's go ahead and go into my gear here, go into my monsters, and you can see that my Alice is suffering a little bit in the attack, right? And rather than having hit the magic attack and attack be the same, the attack is 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 uh, less than the magic attack, correct? Also, you want to look at the attack. My base attack, right? So that's uh, 36,870, right? So let's go ahead and put that 36,870. Put that in your head. Remember that. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the skill now, and we'll see exactly what kind of gear score I'm, de I'm dealing with. So I'll write this down as well. 116288. 116288. And then this right here 36870 all right 36870 and then we'll go back into our classes here and remember this to 4105 right 4105 all right and then we're going back into our gear right here or our class right here we're going back into the last tree hit the jagoon go ahead and use this five percent yes i do want five percent attack yes Cool, I got my class learned. And remember, I'm not in the Lancer uh, class right now, so it doesn't even 
matter if I'm a Lancer or not, the share trade is going to go in because it's right here. It says it's a share trade, correct? It's not, and there's always on the bottom of this uh, circles. So let's go back into our gear and let's see what happened. So it looks like right here, there you go. The 301 is right there. So that is going to be a very good, um, you know, very good thing that you, you did just there. Uh, you're going to get a high, a high amount of attack damage. So let's go ahead and put that 385 38583 so 38583 and it's about 1713 so 1713 attack damage that I got straight up from just that one skill so as you can see um, this is actually gonna beat out another Alice now that doesn't have that person doesn't have the traits and it's not 198 so something that's very important is um, getting those share traits up okay guys that's that's what I wanted to um, reiterate and tell you guys about um, share traits as well as the archer class so very important to get those Lancer and mage uh, share traits fully done all the way up to their last uh, skills okay so that's about it for the class skills let me go ahead and uh, get you into what uh, I would consider a good gear allotment and gear uh, spec for our archer now depending on what you're actually trying to do in your guild is really really gonna matter on what you uh, have as as ter in terms of uh, what kind of skills you, you're gonna get now um, and and what what uh, skills you're gonna get uh, uh, I'm talking about is in the um, in the weapons and the gear allotment. So depending on if you're say a frontline archer versus a, a crystal DPS archer um, versus a defensive archer depends on what what uh, what you're gonna allot here. So the gear cost you definitely want to put at least six bows in there or you want to have six bows in there you know at least you have to have six bows inside there so once you have uh, those six bows you're you're thinking what do you want to put in the slots well to me obviously you want the best things in those slots and the very best thing you can have in the slots is at least one xxl fatal testament gun like that's the sci-fi gun. If you can have two of those, that would be pretty awesome. But uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, think that somebody has two of them. But you might, if you got lucky or you spent a lot. So if you have two of those uh, guns, you definitely want to put those in, and the rest is going to be dead eyes. Uh, and I actually consider this a dead eye uh, because the heart of the archer doesn't proc imaginary shot or anything else. It's gonna proc heart of the dead eye though. So if you want to put that in, that's good. Or if you don't have enough cost for it, then you don't have to. And um, I could allocate some little bit, little bit of cost here, and I can uh, put it. In, I'm gonna put it into monster, I think, because I'm going like of a hybrid build between uh, like a straight crystal DPS and a uh, frontliner. I'm like more of a swap in DPS. So. I have a really high amount of magic attack and attack so I can do high damage to the crystal and I have a decent amount of armors so that I can do uh, okay with swapping in like I won't just die in one hit most of the time. So that's really important to uh, actually have six bows. Um, again at least one fatal testament bow and the rest dead eyes. Okay guys at least one fatal testament and the rest dead eyes. You could have a three uh, fatal testament but I wouldn't suggest anything less than three dead eyes. Okay guys. All right, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is armors and helmets. Um, things that you want to do with armors and helmets is if you have it, um, you know you're gonna use what you get. So if you if you say uh, you, I would suggest you would ha you have to have six bows. But say if you don't have like uh, six dead eyes or anything, um, you're not gonna be or it's not six dead eyes but unless you if you say if you don't have three dead eyes and you don't have any like fatal testament bows you just have bows but they're not you know very good for your for what skills you have i would still say go lethal strikes and, and um lethal strikes and uh high circle snipe with hunt just because it's the best skill out there for burst dps um but say if you have a bunch of armors right um so you should get you should pretty much then like transition into being a frontline uh, archer with either cheer or guard and then 
basically you will just be like a, a kind of tankier archer that's still going to do a good amount of damage and then i would suggest having at least three three like six helm and armor between the two you know so like three you could have three helms and three armors or you can have uh you know four like i have and two helmets um but if you have a bunch of armors you can actually go into like four and four if you if you really um if you're really heavy tanky and your and your guild wants to go like kind of defensive like that and then you can have three monsters so you could it depends on what you have but um and it depends on what you're doing like if you're going full on crystal dps and you don't care about any defenses you definitely want to go six bows and six monsters and then you just put them all green um but if you're going like if you don't have like those six monsters uh, that are all, are going to be green and you, you have no no alices or anything like that then you definitely want to stay like more defensive um, in terms of monsters themselves you always want to plus up your monsters first right because the unison is going to be Im impacted by your pluses on your monsters so that's very important um, so basically what I'm what I'm trying to get at here is use what you have depending on uh, what you pulled but if you if you are actually going for like the best in-game archer like you can go I like personally to go in as a like high DPS but have a decent amount of armor so like um, you can you can kill the crystal very pretty pretty easily with this amount of attack and magic attack but um, and you you can also have a good amount of monster variation with still having a bunch of greens inside here with the monsters so if i were to get like uh, an apollo or an Avsaris later on when the Avsaris comes back i could put an Avsaris in here or an apollo in here so i can switch out one of my uh alices and then i can put uh re reallocate a couple of my slots and switch one of my armors that is like a 26 cost for a 24 cost but it's like the still still physical damage down for um a couple points here so i can uh put six into here and basically i could switch out this alice right here that's my lowest plus alice obviously you want to do that for an absaris and then this right here which is the choo choo i can switch this out for like say the uh, apollo so i would have a tri element and i would still have uh, a good amount of damage because i have two alices still right these two would be the two alices still so that's why I like this a lot, um, and I have a, a good amount of skills that um, do magic damage down as well as this uh, magic uh, damage taken constant effect. Uh, I have the reflex, I, have t I would have two physical damage downs, and then I can replace one of these other physical damage downs with a magic damage down, and this would be a physical damage down as well. So it would be like one, two physical damage downs, one magic reflect, one constant magic down, one physical damage down here and then I put one uh, a magic damage down which actually I got from one of my pools earlier that I thought I didn't need but I can actually use it so don't ever uh, sell any uh, URs I wouldn't ever su suggest selling anything that goes to UR because it could come in handy later and I think in one of my videos I sold like a trickery staff accidentally so just remember that guys um so yeah I think that's what I'm going for as in terms of gear um, this is a good allocation to like shoot for in general but um, you you want to balance depending on what you have in terms of helms and armors because helms and armors could always be switched this could be four and this could be two or this could even be like uh, like five and this could be one if if that's what you only that's only the thing you have right so just be wary of that don't just go f go for this and then you only have you have like five four your helmets and you have two your armors you wouldn't want to have you know obviously that much allocation in armors when you could have just put it in helms instead and been a lot better off okay so um i think that's about it for the gear in terms of monsters guys always go for what your guild is trying to go for if they have like say only the you guys are only having UR Alice's then you probably want to go for that green uh, UR Alice uh, setup um, because if you don't if you just throw up a bunch of SSRs you're gonna die anyways even though your element is stronger uh, you're gonna die to just having a higher plus and a higher uh, UR monsters I've had that happen before where a guild tried to uh, counter us with just um, like SSRs and our 
monsters were just so strong that it just overtook them because their SSRs weren't plus all the way because you wouldn't want to plus SSRs anyways. Our URs were plus all the way and our stats were high, much higher than theirs. So they won the elemental battle but uh, ours actually won out. Just like the um, the GVG versus Slayers where we actually won the elemental battle um, pretty decisively by like, by like a couple thousand points but their um, shared traits and their pluses were higher as well as their URs were cost 30 while ours was only 25 a couple a lot of like four versus four 25 costs versus like almost all 30 costs so that's pretty much it I think guys that was a pretty comprehensive guide on uh, Archer I believe but um, you guys tell me if I miss anything tell me if uh, you want anything else specific um, and then I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I um, think that's about it, guys. Definitely hit up the subscribe. If you guys can subscribe, hit the like button. If you like the video or if it helps you at all, hit the dislike if you didn't help you at all. Hit, tell me in the comments below what class, guys, you guys want next. As I do have some good ideas for what other classes should be right now. And a lot of people are not doing. Uh, so definitely hit that up and tell me what class you guys want to see next. Uh, if you guys want to donate, then definitely hit the uh, donate in the... Uh, description and i do have those uh wristbands on the way guys the wristbands are on the way it's going to look something like this and i'll uh, show you guys in the uh vi in, an, in a video when they actually do come in the mail and i'll be sending those out um so i think that's about it guys as always thank you for watching and take it easy peace